Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? I'd like to open an account. I don't believe you. Please stop wasting my time. Now, good bye. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Yes, I'm your friendly, obscene caller. No, you're not. The obscene caller makes a lot of filthy noises and moaning sounds. Now, good bye. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? I'd like to open a f account for all my piles of. I don't believe you. Please stop wasting my time. Now, goodbye. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Yes, I'm a obscene caller. No, you're not. The obscene caller makes a lot of filthy noises and moaning sounds. Now, goodbye. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. I better hold on to this. These obscene phone calls are getting annoying. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Be with you in a moment, Miss Edmund. Is this an obscene phone call? I wish I could get them to stop calling. Yes, how can I help you, Miss Edmund? Can you help me with this check stub? Oh, yes. This handwriting brings back a flood of memories. Too bad about Mr. Edmund. He was such a wonderful man. Excuse me. I'm sorry. How can I help you? I need a copy of the check that goes with this stub. Yes, I believe I kept all of Mr. Edmund's cancelled checks right here. Here it is. Thank you. Hello, safely first... It's a copy of the check that Chuck wrote to his attorney, Brant Bailiwick. There's a note at the bottom. Paid in full. All things pertaining to the last will and testament of Chuck Edmund, including reading the will. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service. KSCUM's phone system is now rebooting. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is, who played Marty McFly in Back to the Future? That's correct. Here's your second question. In the groundbreaking new game, Maniac Mansion, what was the name of the evil tentacle? Aw, oh, too bad. That's not correct. And your final question, 
Where were the much boycotted 1980 Summer Olympic Games held? You got it! Let's see how you did. You got two out of three. Close enough for a win. You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Uh, my name. Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the Case Gum Abu Trivia Contest. What is your name, Abu, please? Ah, yes, here's your name, Abu, on the list. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Great! More? Happy to help. Thank you. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Ah, uh, prosper. A new Coke vending machine. It only sells new Coke, and no one wants that. Do you need some cosplay advice? I'm cosplaying an FBI agent investigating the paranormal. Whatever you say. See you later. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Not that I care, but how much are the hint guides? The Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide is priceless. Just sell your soul and I'll give one to you. It even contains a secret word that will crash your computer due to a bug in the code not caught by the testers. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know what D&D &D is. Okay. I don't read comics. Okay. Can I trade you something for a hint guide? What do you have to trade? A sarcastic comment? Sorry, that's not worth trading for a Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide. Bye! A dime a dozen. It's a character from an upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. Figurines are not a distraction I need right now. Figurines are not a distraction I need right now. Starships in bottles! Handmade! How much do your starships cost? More than someone in your pay bracket can afford. But today we're doing a special deal. If you can answer me this one question, you will get a free starship in a bottle. What is the question I need to answer to get a free starship? Warning! You only have 
one chance to get this right. Which is the best science fiction show ever made? Star Trek. Congratulations! You've won a replica of the starship Isabella. How do you make the starship so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? They're up in my room, but I can't even leave this table to get some dinner. Can I mind your stand while you get me your tools? You'd need to know a lot about Star Trek to be able to man my booth. Did you know that on Impulse Drive it would take 400,000 years for the Enterprise to cross the galaxy? Or that the Galaxy-class Enterprise is 353.5 meters longer than the Constitution-class Enterprise? So you see, it's perfectly obvious that I can't possibly leave my stand to an ignoramus like you. But if you got me dinner, then maybe I could do something for you? What do you want in exchange for your tools? Well, I'm really craving a hamburger. How about a hot dog? No, definitely not. A hamburger is what I need. Get me a hamburger and I'll see what I can do for you. Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. I can't imagine why I would want to talk to him. I can't imagine a game nerd would have anything I want. Cutting edge computer technology. He's Cory! And? He's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the lookalike contest! Yeah, so? Get out of here! <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! It's turned on. Looks fine to me. Do you need some cosplay advice? I'm not cosplaying. Whatever you say. See you later. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Goodbye. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important... What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad. And I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I guess I'm not hungry. Bye for now. Anytime. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. I'll have a hot dog. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready! Been saving one here in the grill pocket just in case. Here you go, hon.
Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I... Uh, uh, I have to go to my room. Teeny tiny spaceships in bottles. Shut up in there! I was totally Stormtrooper number 43 in Empire Strikes Back! Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see- it's locked. That hurts. Ow! That hurts. It's a door. Ow! That... It's locked. Not again! Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. Not again! Oh, that's better. Now to get back to work! It's a door. Tiny tools for working on starships and bottles and jewelry. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? Are you an expert on cosplay as well? Just the legalities of cosplay. It's a fascinating intellectual property question. By cosplaying, you appear to represent the company, so their trademark... That's okay. I don't need to know the details. How else can I help you, Dolores? I have a canceled check for you. It clearly says that you were paid by Uncle Chuck to read the will. That it does. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. I've read all these comics. Okay. I have a level 7 wizard. Doug's a good D&D DM. Okay. I love Star Trek. I want to live on the Enterprise. Okay. Goodbye. I'm trying not to be convinced into buying any more figurines. Starships in bottles! Handmade! Can I try the question to win a free starship? Only one starship in a bottle is given out free per day. Come back tomorrow for another chance. But I won't be here tomorrow. Not my problem. How are you feeling now? Do you want another hamburger? Hamburger? How can you say that? Oh, ugh, bad memories. I... Uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Shut up in there! Don't start that Batman argument. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. Not 
I don't want to see that. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. Ugh. Ow! That hurts! Tiny tools for working on starships in bottles and jewelry. It's locked. I love carrying stuff. Willie, here are the tools you wanted. Ah, oh, thanks. Nice tools. I'm innocent! Can you fix this watch? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Here's my watch for you to fix. I can't concentrate over that racket. Uh, you have to change the music to my favorite. I love Thurman music. <laughs> I work best when it's playing. We interrupt our hostile t Yeah, serves them right for that radio show. Now I better get out of here fast. Oh no, we're, we're off the air again? I'm innocent! Can you fix this watch? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Here's my watch for you to fix. <sighs> it's too quiet in here. I only work with theremin music playing. The radio is turned on and tuned to 198.7 FM. Phew, what a climb! Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. 
I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. I only read my own comic. Okay. I teased a guy to tears over D&D once. Okay. The big guy in the red spandex might be interested in the Star Trek scripts. Okay. Good? Bye. Pew! 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 He's Cory! And? He's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the look-alike contest! Yeah, so? Get out of here! <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! Amateurs. Wow! No need to start swearing. And get a better costume! It's like you're not even trying! Ooh, burn! Okay, all back to normal again. I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, Thimbleberry Pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. I'll need more than a chart to decode this. Like maybe a powerful Commodore 64. This isn't working. I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Ricky, you make such great thimbleberry pie. Can I get one? I'm sorry, hon. I'm out of the pie-making biz. Strictly tubes now. Oh, no! I have a problem, then. In order to hear my uncle's will read, I need one of your famous thimbleberry pies. Well, in honor of your Uncle Chuck, I'd make an exception. But there just aren't any more thimbleberries left. Your uncle had them harvested to extinction. There must be some somewhere. It's sad, isn't it? The last thimbleberries were spotted out in the old forest. Not the forest. I always hated it in there. <laughs> yes, pretty spooky. No one goes there unless they have to. People have been lost in there for days. Days! And I heard some never make it out alive. It's true. 
I've heard those stories too. And then there's the old bear problem. So... First thing, you'll need some thimbleberry picking gloves. You know how those thorns can leave you breaking out in welts. I just happen to have an old pair I could loan you. Thanks! Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Here are the thimble berries you need to make a pie. And also, your gloves. Won't be needing them now. Thank you. I'll go make it now. Won't be a jiffy. Here's your thimbleberry pie. Exactly how Chuck liked it. Thank you. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie, hot from the oven. Pie. Whoever invented the pie? Here was a great person. <laughs> <laughs>